Hello! It is such a rainy day here in Florida and I thought what better to film than an indoor video all about my minimalist closet. Now huge disclaimer, huge. I'm in 1000% my first step of minimalism and figuring out what that looks like and that is why I chose to take on my closet first before any other part of my home of becoming more minimalist. Now there are a couple reasons that I wanna do this. Number one is for just overall stress and tranquility in my life because I have a pretty hectic work schedule and when I come home, I don't wanna have to deal with a ton of clutter and a ton of stuff just in my apartment that I don't really need. By minimalizing the overall possessions that I have, I'm hoping it will just make life a lot easier, uh, less time working on housework and chores and just kind of a more simpler routine. Number two is because I just hate clutter in general. It makes me feel very anxious. It makes me not feel homey. I like walking into an area that I can see the floor and I can clearly see space, space. And number three, I think it would just be a really great thing to kind of transition out of a lot of things I used to have in high school or even early college and get rid of those and just get a new wardrobe. It's time for a refresher in life and I'm really tired of hanging on to old belongings that I just have for literally no reason other than I've had it for 10 years. Along with the reasons why I wanna to move toward a more minimalist lifestyle, I also want to give a little bit of information and background on how I'm deciding to go minimalist. I was actually having a conversation with one of my friends right before I recorded this video about how sometimes going to a minimalist sort of mindset can be very wasteful and it needs to be done in the right way, which I 100% agree with. Any items that I am getting rid of from my life are being donated to the proper place. It is very important when you donate items that you either give them to someone you know will appreciate them. It's important to donate to places you know will use the items. So recently I took some different blankets and comforters to an animal hospital and they actually went through everything I had and they only pulled the items they knew they would use at their facility so I could go take the other items somewhere else to donate. And number three, when you give to thrift stores, you can always give and let them choose what they want. So you don't have to just go and drop off bags and hope that they're going to use it. You can go and see what each specific thrift store in your area is looking for and what they will take. You can also donate to homeless shelters. They are always in need of different foods if you want to get rid of foods, if you have a plus of that or clothing. Really get creative in how you're donating. Don't just go toss a bunch of stuff, but really be intentional with where your items are going. And finally, just know I am starting out. This is not all of the clothing that I actually own. This is just the first step into that. For what you're seeing here, two huge bags from my closet were donated, right? So there's still a lot more work to do and I still want to work more toward that minimalist mindset, but I'm gonna walk through why each of these pieces I have here I bought, uh, the meaning and intention behind them and how I plan to use them. The first item that I have in my minimalist wardrobe is the shirt I'm wearing right now. This shirt is from Guess and it is not actually from Guess. I bought it secondhand. Everything here I bought secondhand. This shirt I got for literally $5. I couldn't tell you if it's ever been worn before. It doesn't feel like that. Uh, when I started purchasing clothes, what I used to do or the mindset I used to have was just anything that I wanted to wear once or twice, I could wear it, then redonate it, but I don't want to do that any longer. I really want to find sustainable pieces that will last me for a very long time. So this is something I bought that was high quality that I knew could pair with a lot of different things like the pants I have on. You can't actually see the pants that I have on, but they are just practical jeans. They have some holes in them. They're actually like jegging sort of jeans. Uh, they go with literally anything. They are super practical and everybody needs a pair of jeans or jeggings that are comfortable. Comfort is a huge, huge thing for me. So I wanted to make sure when I was purchasing this time around, I was purchasing things I would actually wear because I used to have a really bad habit of purchasing anything, whether it was comfortable or not, that just looked cute. And then if it wasn't comfortable, it would just sit in my closet. So I know comfort is a priority for me. So all of my purchases are now more comfortable options. The next shirt I have is from Victoria's Secret. It is just a plain gray t-shirt, very high quality. I don't think it's ever been worn and it is so comfortable. I don't even know what material this is. I have no idea. I'm really bad at knowing what materials are what. Probably cotton, probably cotton. It is kind of stretchy and I really thought I could wear this kind of like how I'm wearing this top right now. You could dress it up or dress it down with a pair of jeans or with a pair of other cute pants. Next is this plain white t-shirt from Old Navy. It does have like a scoop neck, which is a little bit different from uh, both of the necklines that I have in these other shirts. The bottom of this is also kind of cut a little bit differently, but I didn't really mind because I could always tie this up to make it really cute or I could tuck it into a pair of pants 
with a simple little necklace you can dress it up or down or put a shawl over it so Again, super versatile pieces. They're gonna last a long time that are really high quality. I have another shirt that I bought. This is from the brand Apartment 9. Um, I don't know what material this is. We're gonna guess, we're gonna say it's polyester. <laughs> when I went shopping, I intentionally went to buy a shirt like this because I had borrowed a shirt similar from one of my friends probably two years ago now that I loved that I would use for a lot of different things and then she finally took it back so clearly I don't have that shirt any longer. I went on a hunt to find one very similar and this is what I came up with. Um, it does have a knot down here at the bottom so if you wanted to wear a pair of leggings or a pair of like jeggings like I have on now, this doesn't have to be tucked in but you could also tuck this in and kind of crop it and wear it with jeans or jean shorts. Again, another very versatile piece. You can just pair a simple necklace with some pearls. You can also pair this with really colorful headbands if you like headbands like I do. And you can add color that way. This is also a great top if you wanted to wear a colorful pair of shorts or pants with this too because it is so neutral. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I own in my closet. And I want to say that with the pixie cut, I think that shirts that kind of come up on the neck are very classy, look very beautiful and elegant. And this shirt falls into that category. This is from the brand Universal Thread. And if you don't know, this is a Target brand. And I got this second hand though. I don't know how much this was. I wanna say $4 from like a Goodwill or something. When this is on, it is beautiful. Literally beautiful. I hear this with the black pants I have that I'll show you here in just a second. And it is just gorgeous. You could wear this with, with jeans. You could wear it with other sorts of leggings. You could wear it even with jean shorts, like a flat pair of shorts would be really cute with this, wear it with a hat. I mean, this is just a perfect end of summer, fall sort of piece, especially here in Florida where we can't really dress up for the fall super heavily. This is a great option. It's a beautiful burnt orange color. Can't get enough of it. Lastly for shirts, I have this little throw here. I don't know what material this is. Let's say it's wool. <laughs> this does not have a tag, so I don't know what brand this is from, but it is a short sleeve. Um, little throw with a hat or with a, with a hood. I thought this would be amazing for those days. It's just slightly chillier here in Florida just to throw over any outfit ever. I cannot imagine an outfit that this would not go well with. Even if I just wanted to put on that really simple white or gray t-shirt and put this on with a pair of jeggings, like the pieces I'm trying to get are super versatile that can be used for almost anything. Now getting on to pants. This is actually the only pair of pants that I did not by second hand. I did not buy these pants second hand, but I've had these for a very long time, so I included it here with the rest because this is part of the wardrobe I'm hoping to eventually keep once I go through all of the rest of my clothes. These are so, so wrinkly. That's the only problem I have with these is how wrinkly they are, but they are a super stretchy material and they come up, they're kind of high-waisted uh, pants, and they have a tie so you can tie them up into a little bow, and they're really, really cute. They are great to tuck any sort of shirt into. Uh, the only problem is how wrinkly they are. They have pockets and they are super, super comfy and very, very flowy, so this can be used with almost anything. Next, I got these pair of jean shorts, which are way too big for me. I bought these though because I thought paired with a belt and kind of cinched more at the waist, they would be super flowy. They are so comfortable, and I hate when I have material that is super close to me. I like being able to move and breathe, so since these were breathable, I picked these up. I think they were only $7 second hand. They are from American Eagle, and they are, like I said, they're just super flowy. I'm gonna guess this is denim. Denim. I have another pair of shorts here because in Florida, you don't get a ton of options <laughs> for what you wear uh, almost year round because it is so hot. So having a couple different pair of jean shorts is such a great option and that's why I picked these up. They are very, very basic because um, I didn't want there to be any sort of design on them or any random color so I could wear them with almost anything. They are cuffed at the bottom and I don't even know what brand this is. Finally, I have gym clothes, which I don't really go to the gym all that much, but I like how these feel. I like to wear these on the run when I'm running errands or just on a kind of a lazy day because they are gonna look really great with any of these other shirts that I got, right, right? I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so these are actually a pair of longer leggings for days that is cold here in Florida where maybe I wanna wear a sweater over it. It just looks super, super cute. It's a very on the go sort of a black legging. You know what these look like. And these two I bought, I'm gonna say I have one more pair too. I think I've left them over there, but I have three pair of these. They are just your practical gym shorts. I will actually show you one of them. What? 
anything like this um, I'm currently in the market for just because I wear these more than I wear anything else in my wardrobe and all I had were a bunch of random colorful shorts that didn't go with anything and I had to wear like a very graphic tee with which is just no longer my style. So by purchasing these, these will go with very neutral other muted color clothes and um, also make me feel super comfortable. Now that I have given you a look into my beginner, very beginner, minimalist wardrobe, I wanna take you along with me to give you an idea of what to shop for when you are going out if you do wanna begin minimizing the things that you have in your collection. I kinda wanna look for some more pieces that are similar to this. Um, since we do live in Florida, I think that the short sleeve is like, perfect and I do like to cover up a little bit more so this one looks kind of like it would get that work possibly because it does have the short sleeves and it's a neutral color that would go with a lot of stuff. Thoughts? Here is another piece that I just tried and it's this shawl. It is short sleeve which is what I was wanting. I just don't see myself being able to pair this with a lot so I'm going to pass on this piece because again I'm trying to buy things that will maximize my use get a lot of use out of it I don't think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this so putting this one back a couple different items that I just found are these black shorts and this is such a good staple piece this can be paired with almost anything in your wardrobe as well as this kind of cardigan it's a very neutral color and that's kind of what I'm looking for to start uh, before I go into some crazy other pieces I want to make sure I compare most of this with other pieces in my wardrobe here is this piece. Um, it's just a gray kind of, I don't know what this is, a shawl. Maybe a shawl. Since I want to make sure I'm getting the most out of my purchases, I'm not sure I'm going to go with this or not, just because it does seem like it's going to fall off a lot from how it's cut, so I'm not really sure yet. This shirt, I'm obsessed with this shirt. Like, check it out. It's got these puffy sleeves you can kind of bunch up and push up your arm. Very lightweight for Florida, and it's a very pretty baby pink color, which is something I don't have in my closet. And look, it also goes with the shorts that I'm already gonna purchase because it went with another shirt. So there you go. You can use these items for several different things. This is probably gonna be like a staple. Look how adorable. These are the items that I decided to get tonight. They are all super versatile and they were actually pretty inexpensive too because they were thrifted. So there we have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope it inspired you to maybe purge some of the things in your closet and begin living a more clutter-free life. More videos I have similar to this will be linked on the screen right now, and you can also find those by subscribing and checking out more on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you real soon. Bye!